Hey guys, Ryan Fowler from the FoxSports.com Fantasy Department with your fantasy football sleepers for the 2013 season. Begin with our top sleeper out west in San Diego. That's Denario Alexander. Now I know what you're thinking. Ryan, he's had five knee surgeries. I know there is that risk involved, but let's think about this. After he joined the Chargers last year, he averaged 17.8 yards per reception with seven touchdowns in only 10 games. He was a difference maker once he joined the Chargers. Now you look at the rest of that offense, the other fantasy participants, Malcolm Floyd, Antonio Gates, Ryan Matthews. What does that trio have in common? Yeah, they get injured a lot or aren't at 100% on a regular basis. Malcolm Floyd, I swear that guy's made out of paper mache. Every year he gets stuck on my team and obviously I'm dealing with a bye week a lot because he's injured all the time. So he has more than one bye week. We look at Alexander, six foot five, big body, the knee surgery is the only risk. I like Denario Alexander as a sleeper at wide receiver. To running back, Chris Ivory. Sean Green moves to Tennessee from the New York Jets. Ivory moves up to the New York Jets. Obviously not the ideal situation. The Jets offense is a little bit of a mess, but Ivory is likely the first string. Remember, Mike Goodson might be facing a suspension due to gun and pot charges. So Goodson moves down the depth chart. Ivory stays up at the top. Now, granted, Ivory has dealt with his fair share of injuries, too, a variety of leg injuries, knee, hamstring, and he's missed some time. But when he is on the field, he is productive, and I think he's one of the top backups that everybody has wanted to see get a regular shot in the starting role, and that's what New York presents, a regular playing time opportunity. He averaged over five yards per carry in his career. And then again, what's your offense in New York? You have Mark Sanchez. No more Tim Tebow. It's Antonio Holmes recovering from injury. Stephen Hill, eh. No more Dustin Keller. So I think they're going to run the rock. Remember, Sean Green, back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons in New York. I like Chris Ivory. And then finally, our final sleeper, Carson Palmer out in the desert. Palmer over 4,000 yards, 22 touchdowns with 14 interceptions in Oakland last year. And his top receiver was his tight end. It wasn't even a wide receiver. But you think about it, now he's got Larry Fitzgerald. So that's the good news. The bad news? Well, the rushing attack is suspect in Arizona. They bring in Mendenhall as their leading running back. That's not a huge sigh of relief for people that might want to take a chance on Palmer. And again, I'm not saying that this guy is going to be your number one quarterback in drafts. It's just when you look for backup, Palmer could be some trade bait when other quarterbacks falter in the middle part of the season. And the other thing that you have to take into consideration with Arizona, the offensive line allowed the most sacks last year, 58 of them. Now, they improved in the draft, made some trades, but again, Carson Palmer needs to be upright to excel in this sleeper position. But I think him and Larry Fitzgerald, you also have Michael Floyd and Andre Roberts, they could do some damage this year. I think Carson Palmer did enough in Oakland with a horrible roster and a banged-up roster that warrants some type of consideration as a sleeper in 2013. FoxSports.com Fantasy Football Registration is open and ready for you. Visit FoxSports.com slash fantasy slash football to sign up for a team and join a league today. Until next time, I'm Ryan Fowler for FoxSports.com.